I S U P K. That's what this Bible is showing us. 
laws, the way we're supposed to walk, how we're supposed to act, how we're supposed to conduct ourselves. Is there any more on that? And the work that they must do. And the work that they must do, which is me and you, is going to show us the work we must do. You got the apocrypha? We're going to get a first Maccabee. Chapter 2, verse 64. First Maccabees chapter 2 verse 64, we're going to show you what, what the Maccabees are saying we're supposed to do. This is the advice that he gave to his sons. Back to 2 Maccabees chapter 2 verse 64, read. Wherefore, ye my sons, be valiant and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law. So he's saying, show yourselves to be valiant. Men! And to be men, we got one more time. Wherefore, my, wherefore ye, my sons, be valiant and show yourselves men in the behalf of the law. Show yourselves to be men. This is what the first thing we're supposed to be doing as men, to show yourselves men in behalf of the law. And the law is this Bible right here. We're supposed to be showing ourselves men by, by following what these scriptures are saying. That's right. Keep reading. For by it shall ye obtain glory. So by following these scriptures, the Bible says you will obtain glory. Glory and become men, valiant men, following the law. Jump down to verse 67. Take also unto you all those that observe the law. So we're to take everybody who observes the law, who follows these scriptures. That's who you want on your side. Everybody behind these signs, that's what we're doing. Read it one more time. Yeah. Take also unto you all those that observe the law. So you take with you to go into battle everybody who observes the law, everybody who observes these scriptures. This is what the Bible is telling us. Keep reading. And avenge ye the wrong of your people. And avenge the wrongs of your people. This is what the Bible is telling us. Take everybody who follows the law, who follows these scriptures, and avenge the wrongs of your people. Keep reading. Recompense fully the heathen. Recompense fully the heathens. Recompense means to pay them back. Recompense fully the heathens. Who are the heathens? Anybody who's not so-called blacks. Yes. Hispanics or Native Americans. Read that one more time. Recompense fully the heathen. Recompense fully means pay them back fully. Keep reading. And take heed to the commandments of the law. And take heed to the commandments. So we just don't go out there and do something crazy. We have to go under the, what the commandments tell us to do. We take heed to the commandments by following these scriptures that we reap it, we recompense fully these heathens. And again, the heathens or anybody who's not black, Hispanic, or Native Americans. Keep reading. So he blessed them and was gathered to his fathers. Keep reading, 68. Recompense fully the heathen and take heed to the commandments of the law. So from there, we're going to go, we're going to see what Moses did. Give me Exodus chapter 32 and verse 26. This Bible is not all love for other nations and heathens. Right there, they just said, uh, uh, "Recompense fully the heathens," but under the under the uh, under the laws of these scriptures. So let's go to Exodus. We're gonna see what Moses, how Moses dealt with with with, uh, with heathens and, and 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 our people that were following heathen heathen customs. Exodus chapter thirty-two, verse twenty-six. Read that when you got it. Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? So 
Moses stood up in front of all the people and said, who's on the Lord's side? That's what I'm doing right now. Who is on the Lord's side? Keep reading. Let him come unto me and all the sons of Levi gather themselves together. So he said, come unto me. Everybody who's on the side of the Lord, come to me. We have flyers right over here. Get into class. Everybody who's black, Hispanic, and Native American, if you're on the side of the Lord, you need to get into these classes. We got flyers over here to show how to get into the class. Keep reading. And all the sons of Levi gathered together themselves unto him. So all the sons of Levi gathered together and went up to Moses. Only the sons of Levi went up there. So let's see what Moses did after that. Keep reading. And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side. So he told all the men who came up to the Lord to put a sword on his side. He told all of them, put a sword on your side. Keep reading. Let's see what else he said. And go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp. So he said, take those swords and go in and out gate to gate. What am I reading? It's the Bible. Go in and out with those swords. Go gate to gate, in and out through the city. Everybody who does not want to be uh, follow these commandments. This is what Moses is telling the Levites. Keep reading. And slay every man his brother and every man his companion. So he said, go through and slay every man and every man his companion. This is how Moses dealt with, with, with our people, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that wanted to follow the heathen customs. This is how Moses dealt with them. Keep reading. And every man his neighbor. Verse 28. And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses. So the, so the, so the Levites did what, the, what Moses told them to do. Went through and slayed everybody that didn't want to follow the Lord. All of them. Keep reading. And there fell of the people that day about 3,000 men. 3,000 men got cut that day. 3,000. The Bible is not all about love. If you don't follow the commandments, and if you don't follow the scriptures, this is what happens to you. You get cut down. 3,000 got cut down that day. Keep reading. I want to stay, but it hurt me. For Moses had said, consecrate yourselves today to the Lord. So on that day, he said, consecrate, which means separate. Separate yourselves that day to the Lord. This is what he told the Levites. On that day, when they went through, he cut everybody, every black, Hispanic, and Native American that wanted to follow that white man. This is what Moses told them. Cut everybody and then consecrate yourself, which means separate yourself. We want no cowards in our camp, in our camp.